as premium as Halloween Horror Nights is, let's just be honest, they kind of occasionally have a problem. And that problem is crowds. More crowds and even more crowds. We were all stunned last year at Halloween Horror Nights 32 as the opening weekend wait times were insane, the crowd levels were insane. But no fear, I think Universal may have solved this problem. Now I have plenty, plenty of thoughts about this and plenty of stuff to say. We have seen something like this done before and I don't think Universal has learned their lesson from last year, but we'll talk more about that a little later on. So just what is this premium scream night? What is it? What is it? Starting on August 29th, right before Halloween Horror Nights actually starts. On that Thursday, once you get a ticket to this event, you're going to be ushered into a premium Halloween Horror Nights experience unlike we've ever had before. What this is, is you will be among the first to face this year's 10 Halloween Horror Night houses, as well as five scare zones. And it doesn't state that you will be seeing, obviously, a show. It doesn't say that. So, no, no thoughts on that. Now, what they are stating is that this event is a intimate experience complete with limited capacity and shorter wait times. Now, how they're able to do this is by staggering entry by group into haunted houses. So everyone, and they put this in big, bold black letters, everyone will fall prey to the scares lurking at every turn. A selection of all you care to enjoy food items uh, created by Universal's culinary team, an exclusive event souvenir credentials and a lanyard, access to select attractions, and of course, the best part is the free self-parking on August 29th. So just in case you are not a pass holder and you don't have free parking, you get free parking with this. Now the big part of what everyone is wondering is just how much is an experience like this? Well, Tickets go on sale starting on June 6th, and if you are just not a pass holder and you're just buying this flat out, that ticket cost is going to be $350 plus tax, of course. It's insane, right? Now, if you happen to be a pass holder, you are going to get a discount on that, and it's gonna take it all the way down to the low, low, low price of $325. Yeah, that is all I have to say on the premium scream night. And here is the flip side of this. Hmm. I, I knew we were going to get to this. All right, let's let's come and bring it in. So last year, if you do not know and you don't follow Halloween Horror Nights, this is your first year. They had something called the Taste of Fear last year, and it was this all exclusive like you get to taste the food before anyone got to taste it at the event. It was their way of kind of making money off content creators and also, you know, the local fans who wanted to kind of partake in some of this. They didn't learn their lesson with that one because the cost was too high and no one really booked it. And then they sort of altered it and they said, well, we have different price structures, one that's with alcohol, one that's a little less expensive without the alcohol in case you still wanna go. It still didn't really sell that well. Took that initial idea of Taste of Fear and added on to it. Now, some people will say this is a great experience. This is lovely, this is extravagant, I got the money. Of course, I'm gonna to go to something like this. And I do not know how I feel about this. I have thought about this the entire day. I've read over it. I've thought of different scenarios. 
it is a limited short capacity event. How limited are you selling these tickets? Is there only going to be 300 people in the park? Are we really going to feel like we are immersed into this experience? How does it work when you're staggering the groups? If it's just me by myself, how is that going to work? Am I going to get to go through the house by myself? Am I going to be added to some other group? How are the wait times going to be for this? Is it going to be like every house is 10 minutes all night and that's kind of cool? Or is it going to maybe go up because it depends on how many ticket sales you're offering. Also to note, it says a selection of all you care to enjoy food items. It doesn't state all the food items. It says a selection. So it could be just a couple food booths and that's it. Also keep in mind that typically the Wednesday right before opening weekend is team member preview where it's a chance for them to kind of usher in the crowds and, and sort of get a preview to the team members and sort of test the queue lines. They test a lot of the stuff with the houses. You're going to pay this amount for this event the very next day. So you're hoping that they fixed all the problems. You're hoping everything's solved from employee preview to that very next day in case of some effects. It, it could be or could not be. So along with this comes the other side. And me being a creator, I have to really think, is this worth it? Do I take you along with the journey? Like, do I make that sacrifice? Because this is a once in maybe a lifetime opportunity. Sometimes you think about something like Scare Actor Dining. It was here and now it's gone. Who knows if it will come back, but sometimes these experiences only come every so often. Make no mistake, I think this is a cool experience and I really would want to do this, especially just from a content creator standpoint. But there's also the other side of things and this is kind of a far bigger problem that we might have to adjust in the future of how Universal handles its media and how they you know, if you're pro everything, we're going to invite you. But if you talk about some negative stuff, you're not going to get invited. And so me being a creator, I want to go to something like this. But do I really take a stand and say enough's enough? This is too high of a cost because I'm pretty sure most of the other bigger creators are already lined up, ready to order their ticket immediately. So I'm perplexed. And I feel like if this is a success and Universal sells this out, I fear what's gonna happen with that. Is it gonna happen next year? Is it gonna be 360? And the next year after that, 370? What is gonna be that limit if they're already starting off with it being this high? Now I understand you offer it this high to sort of push out everybody. Cause if you made it like a hundred bucks, it would have been a no brainer. Everybody would have just paid. Want to know what is your thoughts? Leave it down in the comment section. Let's have a conversation and thank you all for the support. We are just still getting started with this haunt season. We still have so much more to come. 